What's up everyone? Welcome back to EK Academy. Welcome to a new topic in Blazor. Today we will talk about a very very interesting thing. Uh, it's about localization and support letting your app support multiple languages very very easily. Actually today I have announced a new library. It's available right now on a new get in the preview edition. It's going to be in the release edition uh, in the next few days just to make sure that it's working very well. Uh, this library is going to help you developing apps that supports multiple languages just in a few lines of code in addition to that there is a tool it's already online right now that helps you even to translate the content so you can support for more than 69 uh, language just in few lines of code with a few time so let's get started I will make a demo today in blazor WebAssembly it's also available on a new get if you want to check it. You can find the link in the description box below. So I will open Visual Studio 2019, go to Blazor app and multi languages demo. Hit OK. Choose Blazor WebAssembly, click create. OK, here we go. Now, the first step we should do is to install the library. Actually, right now it's still in the preview edition, so you have to copy this from here and go to package manager console paste it here and click enter or you can go to dependencies manage nuket package but make sure to uh, check that the include the pre-release uh, pre versions of the libraries so you can find it here aksoftware.localization.multilanguages okay now the second step we should do is To define what you want to translate. For example, in this demo, I will translate these words. I will remove this. This way. So like this. So I want to translate this. What you should do now is to create a YAML file. YAML, if you don't know it or if you are not familiar with that, it's a new like serialization language like JSON and XML but it's much way lighter or the size of the file is very very small because there is no curly practice or it tries to make things simple as much as it can so I prefer to use YAML rather than XML like the normal traditional resources file or JSON because it's lighter and this helps you to create a small DLL because you will embed these files inside the DLL of your application especially in Blazor like if you have a big application there is a lot of words a lot of values key values so maybe XML or traditional resources file will lead to bigger DLL while YAML is very very good and light so to start I will go to multi languages demo create a new folder call it resources Inside this resources, I will create a new .yml file. New item. You can find YAML here, so I will try .txt or any sort of file if you want. Text. Choose this. Call it English US, which is the basic language we want to translate uh, content from. Every file should be called, uh, sorry, this one should be dot yml yes like this okay the basic language we should start from is english united states and the naming of the file should be in this format the language underscore the country okay now you can create values key values i will type hello world hello world like this and I will take this one welcome message I will paste it here okay this is YAML as you can see it's very very simple there is no semicolons there is no uh, columns at all no curly practice nothing no double quotation it's very very light so you can save this file this way Okay, that's good. Now to translate 
this file into the languages you want you can basically go to akmultilanguages.azurewebsites.net here you can go to translate app okay upload this yaml file i will put this file inside the desktop so i can reach it very easily like this then choose okay click submit okay here you can find the content the key and value of your files and here is all the available languages for you you can find the languages with the regions but for each language it's good to choose only one uh, region is enough so for now i will show you like i, I will use south africa arabic bulgari catalan dutch and english we have already english spanish what we need also okay india maybe yeah you have a lot and a lot of options actually okay that's very easy this tool gets this uh, all this file translated for you now i can find them inside the downloads let's I will cut that go to resources paste them here this way okay now if we try to check the content as you can see all the content has been translated this tool is depending on the Microsoft Translator API, which is a very common tool that's trusted by a million of developers around the world. So now we have all the contents ready. You should choose all these files, select them, and here from the properties, build action, set it to embedded resource, to embed it inside the output DLL. Okay. Now we are ready, everything is good, go to program.cs, here, you can add the service builder, builder.services.add, language, container, okay, using aksoftware.localization, so now as a parameters, you can define two parameters, first one is the assembly that contains the resources, because maybe those resources, this folder with those embedded resources could be existing in another assembly that you imported inside your application. So you can define it here. But in our demo, it's the current assembly. So you can get it from assembly.getExecutingAssembly, which returns the current assembly multi-languages demo. Okay. Now, here we are ready. Another parameter you can define is the default culture maybe you want the application by default to be italian dot get culture info you can set it like this so in this way the application by default will be in italian otherwise if you don't specify it what actually the service is going to do is to try to find the file that's suitable for the users uh, current culture if there is no file that's specified for the user culture it tries to find any file that has the same language if there is no file with that language it tries to find the english file also if there is no english it throws an exception like there is no resources available okay now i will go to the index component save this inject instance of uh, let me import the library first here like using okay, software dot localization multi languages so inject an instance of i language container service call it language container so now you can replace this content with at language container dot keys 
hello world and I will replace this one with welcome message as you can see hello world welcome message in the upcoming updates I will try to add an auto-generated class that will be generated when you build the project that tries to fetch all the properties here and uh, get them ready for you available as a static properties inside a specific class instead of depending on a string values like this okay now if I try to run the application okay as you can see hello world welcome to your new app but this one is not from the HTML directly it's from the resources file now what if I want to change the language let's see how we can do this first I will add a few buttons I'll add a row inside this row I'll add buttons margin to 10px sorry add on a click this and here English copy this multiple times here we can define for Germany Italy India what languages we have here Arabic Bulgari Spain, South Africa, yeah, any languages you have, you can add them here very easily. Now, I will create a function that change the language, yeah, basically, void set language, text string, culture code this now to change the language simply set language container dot set language and pass a culture as an argument so system dot globalization dot culture info dot get culture info by name which is the culture code here like this okay now here inside those buttons you can call this function but it's a good idea to set this as like this set language en us and this way so I'll copy this and repeat that for all okay like this now that's good for germany de Deutschland, italy as well India, Arab, Algeria, Bulgari, Spain, and South Africa. Okay, now Ah, uh, sorry this one should be dash instead of underscore like this now let's run the application to see the result okay as you can see bunch of languages in front of you so let's try germany wow that's nice as you can see italy indian Arabic, Bulgari, Spain, South Africa. Yeah, you have a lot of choices. That was pretty easy to add as many languages as you want. Just translate a file to the language, one click, and add a button here. Now, if you want to save the states of the application, you can basically use a library called blazor.localstorage to save the current culture inside the local storage of the browser 
and somewhere in the application like on initialized of the home page or maybe in the program.cs here somewhere you can just set the culture from uh, the culture code inside the local storage of the browser so in this way when the user opens the browser again he can still on the language that he changed the application to thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed that i hope you find it very very useful for you and don't forget if you like it to like the video and subscribe to ak academy thanks so much